This is part two of how to make a joey pouch, showing how to crochet the sides together. This is the same basic technique that you would use in a lot of various projects. For example, if you were to make a blanket out of granny squares, you would either sew them together or crochet them together like this. If you'd like to see uh, the first part of making a joey pouch, the link is here and it's also in the description below. So you'll notice at the end here, from where you do the first row of single crochet into the chain stitch, it kind of looks like there's a wrong side and a right side. There's not really, I just prefer this side. So what we're going to do first in order to sew this up is we're going to make sure that we're finishing with this on the right side. So see for example here now it's on the it's on the wrong side. Again, it doesn't really matter. That's just my personal preference. So we did our turning chain and nine single crochet in this little one. Okay, so get to the end of the row. That's the, this is the last stitch in the row. And then to make a border around, I'm going to chain one and then go right back into that same stitch because that's also the first stitch of this row going up along the side. And then single crochet into each stitch along the side. And that just kind of finish it, finishes it off, gives it a nicer edge that will make it easier for crocheting the sides together. I'm going to finish this off. So once you get to the end of this row, you'll see it's going to be pretty much the same thing. The stitch is going to look a little bit different since it's that from the starting chain. So stick it into that stitch, single crochet, chain one and single crochet back into the same stitch. And then if you were to do a wider border, more than one stitch around, you would use that chain one in each corner as your new corner. So you can see these stitches along the top are a little, little bit different than the normal stitches. And I'm continuing to work my tail in because I hate weaving them in at the end. So I try to work them in into my work as much as possible. Okay, so we're back in the last stitch of this row. A single crochet, chain one, and single crochet back into that same stitch, which is the first stitch of the new row. Which 
just single crocheting down this other side. one into each stitch. Every other stitch on this one looks a little different because of the turns at the end of the rows. Okay, so we're coming now back up to that last row that we did across. And to finish it off, so that stitch was in the same stitch as the first stitch on the other side, then you just chain one and you can just slip stitch it into that next stitch. Oops. Chain one, slip stitch into the very next stitch. And then if that was the piece you were making, you would tie off and weave in your ends. But what we're going to do is we're going to show how to crochet two sides together. So we're going to bring this up, fold it in half, and what we're going to do is go to that very first stitch on this side, which is now we'll call the front side. Okay, and then we go through the very first stitch in what we'll call the back side. Yarn over, pull through, and in this case, you're going to be pulling through four, four strands of cotton, the two V's on the front side and the two V's on the back side. Oh, and somehow I got tangled up. I'll just untwist that one there. And then you yarn over and pull through to make your very first single crochet. Again, through the front, V, through the back, V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, single crochet. Again, through the front V, through the back V, and with each of these you'll just move to the next stitch. Single crochet through the front V, through the back V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, single crochet. And then when you get to the end, um, tie off, cut your yarn, and weave in the ends, uh, and then Obviously, you'll need to start with a new, a new strand to do this other side here. You could do that on both sides, but I like to not cut as much as possible. So I'm just using the same yarn I was working with to crochet these together through the front, V, you see how there's like V's like a braid, through the back V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, single crochet. And here's what we end up with, a cute little Joey pouch. Hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you very much.